Kia ora, kia ora, ho, mai, welcome to Homemade Let's Cook. Today we're making a relatively simple chicken pot pie. The first thing we're going to do is start off to make a roux, that's spelled R-O-U-X. Then it's pretty much tantamount to making a white sauce and that's going to be the basis for our pie. Let's just go through that on the stove and then we'll come back to put our pie all together. Start with 50 grams of butter and two heaped tablespoons of flour. Mix them together until combined. It should look like this. Add a teaspoon of chicken stock powder, salt and pepper, and one and a half cups of milk, a little bit at a time, and stir constantly until it looks like this. Okay, so we've made our roux and that's just sitting at the side here. Um, now for this recipe and what makes it so simple is that you can make it with already cooked chicken or chicken from the deli from your supermarket, um, any leftover chicken or if you don't have that just buy some chicken thighs or chicken breasts and um, just pull them apart or shred them in preparation for this recipe. So we've got 250 grams of shredded chicken, two cups of mixed vegetables and again this can be fresh vegetables or you can just get um, a combo pack from the freezer section of your supermarket and just cook them a little so they're cooked through or at least defrosted. So two cups of those, the combo I've got here is carrots, peas and corn. Okay, so take our roux and we're gonna put that into this container here. It's still warm and that's fine. So I said this was relatively simple because there's only a few steps because really when you're not having to cook too many things that makes it a lot, more, a lot easier. Okay, so in goes the chicken. And just, just mix that around. And at the same time, of course, you can add in your vegetables, but I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a stir and then add in the veggies. Make sure you've got your oven on already because and get that up to 200 degrees heat. Um, because this doesn't take very long to prepare, um, you don't want to be waiting for your oven to, to heat up. And then in go our vegetables. We've already put salt and pepper into the roux, um, as you will know, so we don't need to add any more. And just give that a good stir. Now, of course, my pastry has defrosted. I'm just using a pastry sheet. But in a single sheet of pastry will do because this is a pot pie. So we're just putting it in a glass baking dish and it's not going to have a bottom. So it's a bottomless chicken pot pie. And of course, you could make this into single pies as well. Just little small ones, cut some rounds for the top and like just put the mixture in a ramekin and then pastry on top. And then away you go. All right, so let's bring over our dish. I've got this lovely glass dish here. I've just um, put some put some butter on that. So in it goes. So it's it's quite a firm consistency. Flatten it down. So that's that done. Just going to take our pastry sheet. Pop it across the top. Sometimes a square sheet doesn't work 
fantastically for the top of a round pie, but just take off a few of those edges and place that where you need some extra height on the side. Of course, you just want to press it down around the edges. Don't have to make anything too fancy on the outside. Just so it's nice and even all the way around. Just pinch it. And then all that's left to do, I'm going to make a couple of holes in the top just to let that air escape. And then bring, it, bring across some whisk egg and paint that across the top with your pastry brush. That'll give it a nice brown color. for 20 to 25 minutes. So because all your, um, or most of your ingredients within the, within the pie are already cooked, what we're essentially doing is just heating up the filling again, even though it's still quite warm at this stage, and cooking the pastry. So once your pastry is nice and golden brown and risen up, you can take it out. And then we'll have a look at the final result. And there we have our chicken pot pie. Allow it to rest for about 10 minutes before serving and enjoy. Thanks for joining me for Homemade Let's Cook. Please join me again. Ka kite.